This first video in the series deals with finding the slope of a line. Now I have a silly little picture here of a house. I show this because the roof line of a house is a great example of slope. It has rise from the base of the roof up to the point. There's a certain amount of rise that you need. In this case we have a rise of let's say four units. We also have a run. That'll dictate how steep it is. Of course if I have a run maybe of something only like a two, I'll have a very steep roof. If I had a run of maybe 10, I might have a very shallow roof. This particular drawing has a run of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this roof line right here has a slope of 4 over 6 or 2 thirds. Now we did not deal with positive or negative. What I'd like to suggest to you is that if I'm moving up, that's a positive. And if I'm moving right, that's also a positive. And a positive divided by positive give you positive two-thirds. To look at something slightly different, just look at the other side of the roof line. Though it's still up one, two, three, four, or plus four, now I have to move left. And left on a number line is associated with negative. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, or a negative six. What's going to happen there is gonna have, I'm going to have a positive four over a negative six. That's going to simplify to negative two thirds. What you should see here is that whether this, if the slope angle doesn't really change, the fraction will remain the same. It's the direction that controls the positive or negative. Remember that up and to the right is positive, up and to the left is negative. To make this nice and quick, let's go ahead and take a look at four different examples. I do not have a coordinate plane graphed in here. I simply have four different lines on a sheet of graph paper. But each one, though, can calculate slope. In this case, I see two dots, or even three dots, and I'm going to simply going to count my rise of plus one and my run of one, two, three. That was one up, three over. I could have also gone, for the record, from the bottom one up two. That would have been a positive two. And over one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice how one-third and two-sixths are exactly the same thing. They all reduce to one-third for the first line. The second line has a similar steepness, it seems, but it goes in the opposite direction. If we look at it closer, let's say from this point to this one, I go up one, but I go left two, and left is negative. So this is going to produce a negative one-half slope. Different direction, slightly steeper. Third example, this looks negative again, like the previous one. But notice how this one goes up two over one. Up two, left one. That's a negative two slope. That's significantly steeper than the previous one, however it is still negative. Finally, the third, sorry, the third negative example in a row, the fourth example overall, you can see that that one will also be a negative. And again, any two points work fine. I'll choose this one and this one. I have negative I'm sorry, up three, left one. So when I write my slope as rise over run, it would be positive three over negative one or negative three. Again, still negative, but you can see, though they're very, very close, this one is slightly steeper than the previous one. As that number increases, the steepness increases. A secondary skill you'll need to do with this is to be able to graph a particular slope from a given point. Again, I'm not associating these with ordered pairs on a number line or on a coordinate plane. I'm simply giving you a point and asking you to graph a particular slope. If your task was the same, you would think of 1 as being a plus 1 or up 1. The 4 on the bottom would be a plus 4. I'm going to imagine this going over 4 spaces. And when I count that out, I give myself another nice dot. I might do it again for good measure connect those together, and you have yourself a slope of one-fourth. Again, you can do the same thing here. I have a negative two. That means I'm going to go down two. I'm going to actually run into my letter M here. So I'm not going to mark it yet, because I'm going to go to the right five then. So I'm going to go down two, right, one, two, three, four, five. There, I cleared my number. If I did that again, down two, one, two, three, four, five, I would have dots that line up and form a straight line. Finally, three-fourths. You should know the routine at this point. Up three. One, two, three. To the right, four. 
One, two, three, four. There's my next dot. Up three, right, four. By the way, you could have also gone down three. One, two, three, and left four. One, two, three, four. Because long ago we learned that just like a positive divided by a positive makes positive. A negative three divided by a negative four also makes positive. So you do have some flexibility to keep that pattern going. But what you've seen in this short little video is how to calculate and draw the slope of a line.